Hi everyone, welcome to Mrs. Dolgarian's art room. Um, I first want to say hi to all my Dunkirk students. I miss you guys so much and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Today we're talking about watercolors and using them on cardboard. So what I did today, um, I created this astronaut artwork and the video is going to kind of explain and go through the process of it. Um, before we start that, I'm going to talk about the materials and some tips and tricks with it. So the first material you're going to need is some cardboard. If you can't find a box like this, um, you can use the inside of cereal boxes um, and any sort of food packaging that's in cardboard. If you flip it inside out, you can use that as well. For this artwork, I used an astronaut and you don't necessarily have to use an astronaut. You can use whatever um, image you'd like. Um, but because we're going with space theme, I thought an astronaut would work very well. So let's talk about the materials. Um, first you're going to need some watercolors. Now, if you don't have watercolors at home, you can make your own if you have food dye. So I have food dye made into watercolors. Um, I had... The gel food coloring but you can use the uh, water food coloring as well or the liquid food coloring um, you're just gonna probably have less watercolor um, just because it's a lower concentration than if you were using the gel so you just mix it with water um, and just test it on a piece of paper so you know how bright if you need to add more water to make it lighter things like that you're also going to need some paintbrushes, and if you don't have paintbrushes at home, you can also use Q-tips. Just keep in mind that if you use Q-tips, you're not going to be able to rinse them out. Um, so you're going to have a Q-tip for each color that you use for this project. Um, measuring cups are really good for measuring out the food dye, um, measuring out how many water or how much watercolor you're going to need for the second layer. Um, in any extra sort of cups for rinsing, for mixing. Now, I didn't have a palette at home, so what I did to put my watercolors while I'm painting, I just use a regular styrofoam egg dish or um, egg container. So you can kind of put them in here. If you don't have one of these, you can also use um, just regular cups. You can also use some uh, ice cube trays are also good to kind of hold the watercolors as you're painting with them. And you're gonna need some tape. And you're probably gonna need some um, sort of pencil or pen, as well as you're gonna need a black crayon, okay? Um, some scissors as well. So in order to make the silhouette of the astronaut, I use this cardboard paper here. Um, well, it's not cardboard, it's cardstock. And what I did was I just drew the silhouette of my astronaut. I didn't focus on the details. I just wanted to get the outer shape so that when I cut this out and I paste it on the board, okay, as I'm painting, it covers it up. Um, thicker paper is better, but you can use copy paper. You might just want to just cut two of the same shapes and double over um, with the regular copy paper. You can also do the same thing with the inside of a cereal box. You can draw the shape, cut it out, and glue it on, or not glue it on, sorry, tape it on to the back side of this paper and you put it on the cardboard. Okay. Um, now, if you notice on my paper here, or my artwork, we have holes cut out. Um, what I'm going to do eventually is I'm going to turn this into a little nightlight for my son and we're going to link in LEDs where the holes are. Now, if you plan on adding any sort of lights, um, where you're going to be poking holes in, first of all, don't poke holes unless you have parents around, um, and you're using the either screwdriver or scissors safely so that you're not hurting yourself. Secondly, um, this is kind of 
from experience, if you are going to poke the holes, do it before the second layer. Um, the second layer, we're going to mix watercolors with cornstarch. You can also use flour, but what it's going to do is it's going to come out sort of chalky. And if you poke the holes before you do the chalk with the starch and the paint and everything, um, it's going to become, it's going to come out a little better. If you do it afterwards, it's going to kind of break up that second layer and you're going to find these little pieces of almost chalk-like particles coming off of the artwork. So um, those are a couple little tips. You don't have to do the holes. You don't have to add the LED lights to it. Um, it could just be a plain, simple artwork. Uh, you're going to hang out on your bedroom wall or something like that. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, let me know what you think. Also, if you have any ideas you want me to um, make some videos on, just leave in the comments section below. Thank you.
I'm too high.